Hello everyone, I'm trying to post uh, the video so you can see close up. Um, sorry you can't see me, however, I'm going to quickly show you the technique. I'm not going to keep you long, but I'm going to uh, show you what actually is working. Um, I have my cones that I use. Um, this one is old. It's all dried up, so I had to make another one. Um, so this is just a simple uh, henna cone. I could not think of the word, sorry. And I just used the Mod Podge and poured it in the cone and taped it down. So that's what we have here. Um, I piped out the design that I wanted. Oops, sorry. Kick in the stand. Sorry if I made you dizzy. Um, I piped out the design and I put the glitter on it. So we're going to do the next row. Um, this one here is some repositionable... Um, well, this one is not used yet. Let me show you this one. So this is a feather, um, kind of like, uh, just a, uh, I don't know what you call it, but the little template, and it's sticky on the back. So I put, put this one where I wanted it, and I used my, my poof bottles, and I just poofed the glitter on there where I wanted it and I changed colors I have all kinds of colors so that's how I did the feathers and I'm going to show you the technique for the the mandala part the dream catcher part so you just uh, cut you out just a slither of the tip and you start piping your Mod Podge. If you don't want to use Mod Podge, I like using a thicker um, a thicker um, glue like um, this is the glue I really like using. It's really thick. So, um, that's what was in this one and that's what I used for oh what did I put it I had my um my keychains I put it somewhere sorry I used it for my keychain so pipe out the design you want and then you put your um um design uh, uh, down with your glitter. Sorry, I just can't talk today. Right now, I'm just dragging the glue to make these little spikes. So, what color do I want that to be? I can use the the, the um, the poof bottles on this, but it takes really long to um, to do that. So I'm going to use loose glitter real quick on this paper. Mm, I've got orange, I've got purple, um, green, um, a little bit of pink in there. Let me use the green. Oh, somehow I know this green is not open. There you go. Found the green that's open. I was wondering what happened. I know I had used it. Oh, this one not open either. Sorry. Let me open this.
so quickly. Now don't blow this because the, the Mod Podge is rather light and I made a mistake and did not, um, I mean, and actually blew it. Like now I want to get rid of the extra glitter. So I learned the hard way. So don't do that. The, the, uh, just got to move that loose glitter off of the surface out of your way so and sorry I cannot see any comments um, I'm, I'm, I doubt if anybody's watching right now but I just wanted to record this and going live is a bit faster and I don't have to edit and all that good stuff so in my next uh, row I want to put some pumps so we're gonna not quite connect it but just kind of close to where our spikes are and I'm I don't have the steadiest of hands but at the end of the design it's going to be cute because it's handmade So I want humps. I'm trying not to squeeze too much because this um, Mod Podge is really not thick at all. Logged or something. There we go. There we go. Okay, so my next color, I want to do a little orange, maybe. Move the um the glitter out the next row way. Decide what you want, and since this is a, a dream catcher, let's see what do I want. Um, 
let's do some spirals. So they get all intertwined in there. If you don't like that, which I don't like this, it's still wet. Just wipe it away. All right. Let's try that again. I want to do it a little thinner. This is dry. I did this last night so I can have my rest in. But you want to watch where you put your... Watch where you put your hand while you're doing this. I don't like how far this is out. I'm going to bring this closer. So, this was an old cut that got banged up a little bit, moving around from here to here, dropping on the floor and all that stuff. So I figured I'd do some practice on this cup. No harm, no foul. So if it doesn't turn out right, then it's just practice. Okay. So I think I want to do purple with this spiral. I like that. So, where is the purple, 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 purple? Okay, got the purple. Make sure it gets on the bottom. That pops. Oh man, that is awesome. Okay. So 
get rid of the excess glitter. If you're crazy and went too fast doing that, <laughs> make sure you check your work. Be careful. Don't get too close, but you want to be able to move the glitter from where you're going to uh, mark your next row. This is going faster than I thought. I didn't think I was going to go that fast. So, we got the blue, we got the green, we got the orange. Um, I need the, the pink. So maybe the pink will be the last row, and then we can draw our strings and beads. Woohoo! We probably can just do, draw the strings and beads and maybe use the pink for that. I don't know which way this thing is showing. If we do another row with the pink, what color would we make the string? Maybe that mauve? Because we got two pinks. We got this pink and we got that pink. Let's just draw the strings. Because, I mean, they do have to hang. Okay. So we're going to draw the strings and the beads. Or maybe, maybe we can draw the string and have the beads be the different pink. Okay. So the lighter pink. Let's do I'm going to use the poof for this. Um that's red. And the proof is just simple. You just squeeze in the bottle. It uses the air in there and it squirts out the, the glitter. Make sure it's on both sides. But you know the, the Mod Podge has dimension on this.
I'm not going to save that because it got um, purple in there. So I have a jar that I keep my extra glitter. So that's what I ultimately use for my Galaxy Black. put at least two beads on each one. So I'm just going to I really don't need to do this because I'm going right on top. I'm going to go right on top. So basically I'm going to put a dot of glue on top. And I'm going to use the hot pink for that. Where did it go? There we go. That's not the same. So I'm going to get the needle. Where did I do with it? fail and move the glue around okay this is a darker there we go and if you have your previous row covered good enough it won't have any place to stick to your previous row but you know that's not how everything goes it's going to find a way to get in there because glitter is ruthless it gets in everything and I'm going to use my needle again I'm going to go over that again. I just want to flatten it a little bit. Instead of being a peak. I don't know. Hopefully you can see that. Gotta gently do this because that that my podge is rather loose. Remember the feathers are dry. Um, if you wanted to do it while it was still wet, you gotta be really careful not to bump your feathers. I did those last night, so. I'm just blowing a little bit too. Okay. 
that turned out rather nice I like that hopefully you like that thank you for watching and the other side I don't know what I'm gonna do with the other side maybe I'll do a name or something all right again this is an old cup I just was practicing so it has lots of blemishes on it from dropping and stuff like that all right have a nice day thank you for watching I don't know how to stop this thing.